I'm Liz Brown Swanson with an RPV TV update from the Kendida Civic Center, where our elected leaders from all four cities came together with first responders and the community to address wildfire protection and the installation of the Pano AI wildfire detection cameras in our community. My message today is this. Rancho Palos Verdes is in a high fire zone, severity zone, and we want to make sure we always have the right tools for our firefighters to, to be able to access and know where things are happening quickly. So today, Pano AI uh, press conference was to make sure that the community is aware of that system and that they know that the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and all the cities on the peninsula, including our partners at LA County Fire Department, are there to find the best tools to protect our residents. So early detection for wildfires is critical. Wildfires can expand in exponential growth, especially when driven by winds or slope or aspect in geographical areas. So anytime we can get a head start on detection, it gets our resources on scene to fight that respective fire that much quicker, where we can keep the fires hopefully very small. My name is Sonia Kastner. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Pano AI. Uh, we were launched in July of 2020. Uh, my co-founder and I had both been working in the technology sector for uh, dozens of years. And we also were residents of San Francisco and had experienced devastating fire season year after year. And uh, we were seeing an explosion of new technologies in other sectors like cameras, satellites, drones, big data, artificial intelligence. And we thought that this technology could be really useful for the emergency management community. We are mostly complete with our deployment here in Rancho Palos Verdes. We've deployed three of our Pano stations and there's a fourth on the way in the next couple of months. Um, and uh, we designed this network of Pano stations uh, so that the, the city uh, can be seen by two stations in all areas. And that means that when, uh, so our cameras are rotating three 360 degrees every minute and during the day we're scanning looking for smoke with artificial intelligence at night we're looking for heat from both the cameras and from geostationary satellites and when we detect a fire uh, not only do we detect it with AI but we also have uh, an ability to triangulate the location of the incident from two of those stations and that means when we push the alert out to the fire agency it comes with a location it comes with a video, it comes with the ability to zoom in on the fire, and that gives the fire chief the actionable intelligence they need to uh, issue an aggressive initial attack on that fire. My message to the community is to rest assured that you, the city is using technology to protect you from um, the disaster of a wildfire. I mean, this, this uh, today, what we're um, announcing here with the the installation of these wildfire cameras actually was uh, a few years in the making. It started in the Emergency Preparedness Committee when um, one of the former members, actually, Larry Mazlich, um, suggested this idea and started working with our then Emergency uh, Services Coordinator on uh, contacting different vendors that provide these wildfire cameras that actually use artificial intelligence. You know, artificial intelligence gets a lot of uh, bad rap out in the in the world and and this is one aspect of it how it really enhances and is a tool that communities can use but it, it it started with the emergency preparedness committee went to the council the council said let's bring it to the entire peninsula the entire peninsula all four cities um, uh, we're overwhelmingly um, interested in this and we got in we all joined in and um, here we are. The cameras are installed. And you say here we are. We're right below one of those cameras. About 98% of the Palos Verdes Peninsula is covered by four cameras. There are three cameras in Rancho Palos Verdes. Actually, one is still yet to be um, operational, but uh, there, the, at the end, there'll be three cameras in Rancho Palos Verdes and then one camera on an office building in the city of Torrance that covers the north end of the city. The city didn't purchase the cameras. We're leasing the cameras, so there's, there's 
there's an annual lease that we have to pay for the cameras and and the uh, assembly member Mirasuchi helped make that happen so he he was able to secure us 1.5 million dollars which gets us approximately five years of service for these cameras here to support the uh, Rancho Palos Verdes, Rolling Hills Estates, Rolling Hills Palos Verdes Estates they really came together as a peninsula uh, to um, protect our constituents our, our, our residents um, you know all the property uh, we live in a very high wildfire hazard risk zone and um, uh, they made it a priority to uh, look into uh, prevention measures to make sure that, uh, that we were taking advantage of technology to, to try to uh, uh, have an early detection system for wildfires and so that's what we're here for. The importance is it provides critical time saving time in response and responding to the fires and that's that nothing is more important than that that's life and death and saving property so that and then have your own plans for your own responses and preparedness that cuz the cities and other agencies can't do it for you for everything what I want to add to that is I just want everyone to under, uh, realize that we are all, all four cities are working together. We understand the importance, we understand the dangers with living in a very high fire severity zone and that we are working together to understand what are the different pieces we can put in place. So besides the wildfire cameras, we've been looking at evacuation routes and then each city is investing heavily in doing clearance of weeds, fire abatement and all of that to create those defensible spaces in order to keep our residents safe and we're continuing to move on to the next piece of the of the puzzle. So we have hundreds of these systems deployed all over the world. We're in nine states in the U.S., we're in five states in Australia, and we just went live in British Columbia, Canada as well. We'd like to thank our partner, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, for their uh, innovation and forward-looking um, uh, efforts to bring us uh, to Southern California. This is our first deployment in Southern California, and we're really honored to be part of this uh, community. And that'll do it for this RPV TV update from City Hall. Thanks for tuning in, and stay safe out there.